Fire away with Greg. Well, John was just kind of talking about, you know, a lot of times with skilled players in the NFL, you see guys that are kind of meat players. They, they want, you know, to get their stats. They want to do that. But there's, there's none of y'all among the running back group that are very me. You're all kind of team oriented. What's that about? Uh, it's just about becoming a team player, you know, and try to help the next guy out to get a better result. And, um, you know, it's all about creation. Are you, are you feeling physically in terms of the workload you're taking on this, this fall so far? I'm feeling pretty good, you know. It's a body feel good, you know, legs feel good. So I'm feeling pretty great right now. Uh, you know, that's something that I can't go back and speak on that book is closed, so I'm only focused on what's going on right now and not the past. Shit, it's, it's about creation. But when you answer your questions, answer them towards the cameras. They can still pick you up in that, but this way you're looking at the camera when it's you say that's about creation? What does that mean? I mean, it's about helping each other out and, um, you know, showing them the rope and learning from each other. You know, even though we the oldest guys, you know, there's something that we can take from the younger guys and we can put it into our perspective and that's how you make creation. What, what are some things you've taken from uh, Najee? He's one of those guys, that young guys. Have you, have you seen any part of his game that you're impressed with and just want to uh, Naja and um, Josh Jacob, they're pretty, pretty similar and they're very shifty. Uh, they can stick their foot in the ground and get up free real quick and, you know, that's something that I'm kind of taking from that game and, you know, that's something that we all need to take from each other. Is it strange to see a running back that's as big as you? Yeah. Naja is almost as big as you. Is it strange to see a running back that kind of has your size like that? I mean, you know, it's just about us being a team player, and it doesn't matter the size or how tall or how big the guy is. It's all about, you know, coming together as one. How will it be kind of know some of the former running backs like Mark Ingram and Glenn Coffey, those guys? Uh, I know them pretty well. I mean, you know, by being a running back here, you kind of get the relationship of the past running back because they come around often. Is there a lot of talk about you know trying to improve in, in technique, or is it just getting to know them away from football? Uh, you know, it, it all depends on what time of the year that they come. If they come during practice, and then you know, of course, it's a, always a buzz in your ear. Is there one thing in particular that you learned from those guys? Yeah, it's a lot that I learned from. Them. Well, when you look at Alabama's back, certainly there's a lot of quality there, but there's one common piece, and that's Burton Burns. Can you talk about what makes him such a special coach? Uh, because he always focuses on the little things and not the big picture because, you know, when we focus on the little thing that will make us better players. And um, one thing I can say about Coach Burns is that, you know, he always going to push us and, you know, never make us feel like the job is done, which the job is never done. How does the mix of younger guys and some older guys, just the running back core that y'all have, how does, how does the competition in practice, how good is that for y'all individually? Uh, like I said before, I don't call it competition, I call it creation because we all together as one, we all on the same team and, you know, we're trying to help each other out, become better players and better person. Jonah a minute ago was talking about how exciting it is with, with some of those playmakers on the team for offensive linemen knowing that they have an opportunity to put you guys in, in really good position. Do you guys look at the offensive line kind of the same way? Do you feel like they can, they can really help you guys out? Yeah, the offensive line is a big piece to our puzzle and you know without the offensive line the running back or the quarterback can't work or do their job what they're supposed to do so what was up front you know we take full responsibility of it and we feel comfortable with the guys up front what was up front and you know this was our start up front so we got to give credit to those guys because without those without them the job can't get done how much better do you think jay has gotten since last year um jay has been pretty good off season, uh, he came a long way, you know, not being on the academic side, but as, you know, mature level. I think that he matured a lot, and um, and I think that he is going to be a better player. Shot from Chess, looking to come back from the leg injury. What were some of the other things you focused on since the end of last season that you've been looking to either add, improve on in, in your game? Uh, that's something that I kind of keep to myself. I don't like to spread around, but. Uh, you know, main, mainly it's to sustain and be consistent. 
You didn't do anything yesterday for Jalen's birthday. Oh, there's something I can't take. <laughs> <laughs> You're a guy that, you know, whether it's one thing or another, you know, you've kind of had to uh, wait your turn a little bit too, like like a lot of players here in Alabama, to get your shot. What's it like this year now being one of the guys that people are expecting to, to not just have a major contribution but to, to do big things? Um, you know, it's not all about being the guy. It's out because without the other running backs, you know, no one can be the guy. And uh, we help each other be that guy and uh, move over any game. We want them to be that guy, and we want them to do their job, and we want them to do their job well. And like I said, we feed off of each other, so we very happy when we see each other doing a great job. So, what's the relationship been like with the running backs and Coach Davis? How's he kind of ingratiated himself in that way? Uh, we respect him a lot as a coach, and uh, he respects us as players, and uh, you know he's the offensive coordinator, so and we uh, we do. Everything they ask, even the little things, and we're trying to put the team together as one. So the relationship with the running back is it's been pretty involved a lot. How much can pretty this bad. off? How much can this offense expand, especially by utilizing running backs as passing options more more so than maybe in previous years? Uh, hopefully that this offense can be balanced, and um, I want to say that it would be more running or more throwing. I, uh, whatever Coach Dave would call, you know, this would we expect to do and that's what he expect us to do and we got to go out and do our job and we got to do it correctly. Do you feel think the, the biggest thing is that you can do that people haven't had a chance to see you really do yet at the college level? Um, that's something that I would kind of keep to myself because I can't put expectation on things that haven't happened yet. You know, the only thing I can go off of what's next and what's in front of me, whatever happens going to happen, you know, that's God plan and it's not mine, so whatever happened, happened. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Thank you both.